guys and welcome back to Senior Shape Up and we are on day five. What a week we've had already. So I've had some great comments from you guys. Well done, keep up the good work. Today we have got another five new exercises that we'll be doing and we're going to repeat those twice. So it's a total of 15 minutes exercising today. Make sure you hit the link below and do the warm up before you join me for the actual exercises. Wear comfortable clothes, stop if you experience any pain or discomfort and always check with your GP that this exercise regime is good for you. So today with our seated exercises, there's gonna be a little bit of a bottom twist with this one. So what we're going to do is when we're doing our um, glute work, when we're standing, you're gonna clench your bottom muscles together. So you're gonna activate and clench the right one for 40 seconds, clench, 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 and then when it gets to the other side, you're gonna clench, clench the other side as well. So it looks like I'm not actually doing any exercise when I'm sat down, but I am. I'm really clenching the right buttock as tight as I can, and then I'm clenching the left one too. So I think let's get ready for exercise. Make sure you've got your dumbbells ready or two tin cans, and you've got your chair for stability. Super, here we go. Okay, so we're starting off with the right leg in a donkey kick. So we're going to take out the leg behind and bring it back in. So we're kicking behind and in. You're keeping that supporting knee soft and bent. Level two, you're holding on with both hands. Good, make sure your chair is nice and strong and stable. If you're concerned it might move, push it forward to a wall so it's not going to budge anywhere. I always find that the kitchen sideboard is the best place to be exercising on. Good, now level three, you're gonna see if you can use your balance and kick out just using your balance there. Remember, if you're doing the seated exercise, you're clenching your right button cheek. Okay, in for a hill pump here. So nice, easy hill pump, active recovery, getting that blood traveling up to the level of the heart again. Steady, relax the shoulders down, tummy muscles in. Good. How are we finding 2021 lockdown? I know it's really tough for lots of you at home. Onto the other side, but we're gonna get through this together, guys. Okay, soft supporting knee, and now we are back with that left leg. So I'm pushing that left leg, imagine that I'm kicking the stable door, that's why it's called a donkey kick. And then level three, you're gonna see if you can just use your own body weight. That's it, get the balance going, really home into that supporting leg, keeping you nice and strong. Remember, if you're doing the seated exercise, you are clenching that left buttock cheek. Clench, clench, clench. Well done, keep it going, super. Now we're into an alternating knee raise. So we're bringing one leg up, popping it down, and then the other leg up, good. Same as if you're seated as well. Relax the shoulders down and back. Steady breath, open up through the chest. Okay, I'm gonna show you level two first of all. So it's a knee and lower. Knee and lower, good, knee and lower. Level three, we're gonna pick it up a bit more. So we're gonna go for a knee, lower, knee, lower. So what I'm aiming to do, as I'm getting my elbow to the knee, opposite elbow to the knee, that's it, crunching in, super stuff. Keep that going, crunch in, you've got it. Keep going, well done, bringing that knee up. Remember, take it back down to level two if you need to. Slow the pace. Don't need to bring the knee up so high. Just wear it feels comfortable for you. Active recovery, off we go. Relax the shoulders down. And then we're gonna go straight in for a hamstring curl. So the hamstring curls are great for strengthening the back of the thigh. We're gonna have a wide stance. I'm gonna kick the heel to the bottom. Here we go, and kick hand down, kick hand down. Level two, you're holding on to the back of the chair. Level three, you're gonna pull back. Good, we're really good with these pullbacks now. So we're cracking it up between our shoulder blades, upper back posture work. Good, wide stance, soft knee, and in. Good, keep it going, steady pace. That's it, pull back, and steady, and steady. Soft knee, hamstring curl it up. Yes, 
getting work on the back of those thighs. We do a lot on the front of the thighs. This is good for the back. Okay, in for a nice hill pump. That's the way. So our last exercise in this round is plank taps. Okay, so level one, you're going to be doing it in the chair. Level two, soft knees, and you're gonna pivot forward from the hips, and you're just gonna tap, alternating tap. You're aiming to keep your back straight and flat. Pull your tummy muscles in. Now level three, I'm gonna push my chair forward so it can't move anywhere. Straight plank, and I'm tapping my shoulders. So I'm taking it in turns to tap each shoulder, keeping my body as straight as I can, holding my tummy muscles in, wiggling my toes in my shoes, keeping that blood traveling around. Steady breath. Keep going. And you're there in for a, a nice easy hill pump. That was round one. We are on to round two. Here we go, round two. So round two, back in for our donkey kicks. Remember, if you're sat down, you're clenching your right buttock cheek. Okay, so right leg, shoulders low, soft knees, and push, good. Really extend that leg out, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that right buttock cheek. Good. Okay, level three. It's all about the balance work. I'm going to turn to face you a little bit more here. So I'm pushing back and I'm holding my body weight up. Good. Steady breath. Now remember, if you want to take it back down to two, you're holding on to the sides. Try and make sure you've got that back nice and flat and you're holding in your abdominal muscles. Super stuff, keep going, you can do this. Push back, get those bottoms activated. In for an easy hill pump, take off the pressure. So coming up onto the other side. Remember if you're seated, clench that left buttock cheek. You can do so much work by not even moving, just when you're thinking about the muscles and really activating them. Here we go, so left leg, as it goes down in. Good, push out and in. That's the way. Steady breath and out and in. Steady breath. That's it. Now, level three, if you want to pick it up, you're going to either raise your hands above your chair or you can pass them together wherever you feel comfortable and safe to do so by working on your balance. Good. Push back. Get through that stable door, push out and in. That's it, go on, you can do this. Two more seconds. One and in, yes. Easy hill pump. Alternating knee raise coming up. So level two looks a bit like this. We're gonna go for a knee and lower, knee and lower. And please don't pressurize yourself by how high to get that knee. Even if it's an inch off the floor, that is great. Here we go, level two. Super, level three, good. We're gonna add in the elbow to the knee. That's it, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Good. If you can, pull your tummy muscles in and you can do a little curl, so you're working on your abs as well. A bit of an ab crunch going on here, standing ab crunch, yes. We like it. Good, keep going. Steady breath. Doing really well, guys. You've got this. Yes. That's what I say to myself every day when I'm battling through the homeschooling. Okay, in for a hill pump. Nice, easy hill pump. Good. Right, next one is the hamstring curls. So again, level two is just holding on to the back of the chair. Okay, relax the shoulders down. Two, one, and in, curl. That's it, super stuff. Nice and steady. Good stuff, guys. 2021, making it strong. Senior shape up, here we come. Woo! Good, keep it going, nice easy hamstring. And then add the arms in if you want to take it to level three. Pick the pace up, good. Super, and pull in. Squeeze between the shoulder blades, crack that nut. Excellent, 
Good stuff. You've got this. Keep going. And down into active recovery. Fantastic. Back in for our planks. So, level one, you're going to be doing it seated. Level two, feet firmly placed onto the floor. Pivot forward from the hips and place your hands on the top. Now take your weight back and just hold it here. If you want to try the arms, try the arms as well. Good. Now level three, remember your chair needs to be solid and safe. So I'm going to push my up to the side and I'm going to come into a plank position. An alternating tap just here. You can jump around with the different levels and see which one suits you best which one you can get through a whole 40 seconds. Steady breathing. Good, you've got 10 seconds left to go. Come on, we can do this. Tap out. Pull those tummy muscles in. Come on, a little bit more. Don't let them go. Good, easy hill pump. Yes, we're on to our last round. Level three, here we go. Super stuff. Right, level three. We are into donkey kicks with that right leg again. So relax the shoulders down, soft knee, get ready, wiggle the toes, and kick it out. Here we go. So we are kicking out, I'm just gonna turn slightly to see, so you've got a bit of a different view going on there. Fantastic, soft knee. And then if you want to take it to level three, you are just having a go, either raising the arms above, or clasping them wherever it feels comfortable for you and you feel safe. Good. Now my supporting leg is slightly bent at the knee and I'm trying to make sure that my big toe, little toe and my heel is rooted into the ground. Don't forget to really squeeze that right glute. Okay, in for active recovery. Whew. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. This is the last time we're gonna be doing the glutes. So this left glute, glute, here we go. Okay, let's prepare ourselves, soft knees. Bring that toe back, wiggle the toes, and off we go. Really kick out through that stable door. Nice, keep going there. Steady breath, that's the way. Okay, are we ready to take it up? to level three. So we're holding on and then we're bringing the hands up into a position where we're feeling stable. If you're feeling wobbly and it's not working for you, don't worry, don't push yourself. You know, whatever level you're at, it's all good. None of this is a bad level. So it's all great and you need to listen to your body and over time you will progress within yourself. Super. In for a heel dig, heel pump. And then we're into an alternating knee raise. So we're gonna go for a step, knee, step, and knee. Now, if it's easy, you can come to the side of the chair, just so you're not going to bang the knee in the back of the chair there. Good, here we go, step and knee, level two. Okay, level three, elbow comes in. Elbow to knee. That's it, keep that energy going, because this is your last round. This is the last time we're going to be doing this exercise today. So you're gonna be feeling great at the end. All those endorphins rushing around the body. Happy smiles, knowing that you've done a good bit of exercise for the day. Fantastic, keep it going, keep it going. Yes, that's it, hamstring curls coming up after this for our next exercise. Pump it out, heel pumps. So with the heel pumps, you're just pumping your heels up and down, and what you're aiming to do is just keep the movement going within the muscles. Well done. So hamstring curls look a bit like this, wide stance, and you're gonna curl the leg up behind. So, wait for that buzzer. Here we go. So we're back into our hamstring curls. So level two, we are holding onto the side. Keep your shoulders nice and low. Level three, you're going to pull in. That's it, so really squeeze between the shoulder blades. Let's get the energy levels up here. Last time now that we're doing these hamstring curls. Good stuff. You've got this, guys. Okay, keep it going. Hashtag senior shape up. Here we come. Good, nice and steady. Relax the shoulders. 
Yes. Not far left to go. You can do it. That's the way. Okay, into active recovery. Nice, easy active recovery. Last one. So we're doing our plank exercise. So follow up on the top if you're doing it seated. Level two, you're going to be placing your feet flat onto the floor, bending forward from the waist, out into a press up. You can jump around with the different levels and see which one suits you best, which one you can get through a whole 40 seconds. Steady breathing. Good, you've got 10 seconds left to go. Come on, we can do this. Tap out. Pull those tummy muscles in. Come on, a little bit more. Don't let them go. Good, easy, hill pump. Yeah.